Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the middleware. So these are some uh, important points that we are going to discuss through this video. So first of all we will learn about the theoretical part of middleware, then we will make a middleware with the command line, then we will check all type of middleware, then we will apply a middleware, then how we can uh, check and use the middleware for that and uh, after that we will put a condition on the middleware and uh, uh, at the last I will tell you an interview question and which is very important and it will help you a lot in the job also for obviously in the Laravel right so first is the what is the middleware so middleware is kind of a filter on the HTTP request so when anyone uh, just hit on a single route then uh, 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 let's say we want to check that this user is authenticated or not right so if this user is authenticated then we will uh, can we can allow to access the page otherwise otherwise we can throw it out on the another page all right so for example uh, let's say I want to check that if a user is uh, more than is of the 18 then you he can access my page otherwise he can uh, go outside from my website all right and why we have to use the middleware even we can check the middleware for in the uh, age on the every page but uh, let's say you have uh, more than 100 pages on your website uh, if you are just going to check this on uh, every page then you will see that you have to write the uh, lots of code in a many time then you can a single middleware and you can check the uh, you can check the authentication on the every page with the single middleware also so you can save the lots of time and lo lots of your project complexity also so all right so now uh, let's see that how we can make a middleware for that I'm just going to open that command prompt all right so one more thing guys uh, middleware should be applied on the uh, router or inside the controller also right but uh, mainly uh, we always apply the middleware on the router so that you can check that before going to the controller all right you can check the conditions before going to inside the controller so for making the uh, middleware you have to just write here php artisan make middleware and middleware name so i'm just going to check the check the is that i'm just going to write here is checker and just hit the enter then you can see that you got the middleware is created successfully and here you can where you can find the middleware for the middleware just I'm going to collapse all the folder you have to go inside the app HTTP middleware and here you will find some middleware is automatically defined by the Laravel but if you just make the new one then you it will be also represent here present here so this is my middleware uh, some code is already present by the Laravel command line so first of all I'm just going to put here echo uh, is will be checked here all right uh, I'm just going to put uh, some text here so that uh, you can identify it all right so our middleware is created here so now uh, I'm just going to tell you about how you can apply it all right so for apply it there is a three way for apply uh, one is a uh, global second one is grouped and third one is uh, sorry just misspell here and third one is uh, routed routed middleware all right so uh, we will apply uh, one by one everything so let's start with that so for that uh, apply the middleware you have to go inside the kernel and where this is kernel file is present inside the HTTP there is a kernel file you can see there all right so there is the three arrays present is one for the global http another for the grouped glo uh, grouped middleware here you can see that middleware grouped and sec uh, and the last one is the routed middleware so let's start with the global so for save the time i'm just going to copy this code from here and just going to write here and my middleware name as you know that is checker all right and i just uh, write some he uh, echo here and this is a global middleware that means when i'm just going to put any middleware here it will apply automatically in the global state all right 
so let's see now you can see that we got the text here that means this is ap applied here and uh, I'm just going to grab on the routes guys if you don't know about the routes and controllers and views then you can watch our previous video link list is a link is given in the description box so second route I already have is user so if I'm just going to check inside the user here then you can see that this is also applied here okay so that's the work of the global so now I'm just going to cut it from here and I'm just going to put put uh, inside the middleware group that means there is a group of middleware so like a web and API web is used for uh, web.php and api used for the api.php all right then you can make your own group also so let's say i'm just going to put it on the web and uh, it will be going to apply on the both page still because the both pages are present inside the uh, web so how can i check that this is working or not okay all right so for that i'm just going to do a one thing i'm just going to do on the web.php and just uh taking this URL inside my api.php all right I'm just going to put it here okay for access this I just have to use the underscore API underscore users and let's check now you can see that we don't have any uh, uh, middleware text here all right that's fine okay so I'm just going to copy cut it from here also and uh, at the last I'm just going to take it inside the uh, group middleware sorry uh, in the routed middleware and here we have to define the name of the middleware so I'm just going to define here is checker and inside the is checker I'm just going to put here right and don't forget to put the comma at the last and is checker okay so before that I'm just going to uh, copy back my uh, user route from API to web.php all right so okay so uh, now I can just access here user because this is in the web.php all right so for now you can see that if I just if I just want to check this URL then I have to this is the routed URL so that I have to just apply it on the route just put it here middleware and put the name of it and now you will see that this is not going to be applied on here but this is this is going to applied on uh, user all right so this is also done so now let's see that how we can uh, put the condition here all right how we can check the authentication for that uh, i'm just going to check that a user is is more than 20 then he can access the page otherwise it will go directly on the uh, my home page all right so for that i have to go inside my age checker I'm just going to remove everything from here and here I'm just going to check here if dollar request underscore input and inside here uh, let's check uh, is is less than 20 let's say then it have to return and uh, sorry redirect redirect on which page on a home page all right so just check it here else it will access the page okay so that how can i check this for that let's say check the user and here i'm just going to check here underscore is is uh, let's say 40 then we can access this controller all right so for uh, looking more clear then uh, i can just write here like uh, you are uh, entered in a user controller all right so here you can see that and if I'm just going to put here 10 which is the less than the 20 then you will see okay so I think I just make something wrong in the redirect all right now let's check uh, let's see now you can see that we got on the home page so let's try it once more when the age is 14 then he can enter inside the controller when age is less than 20 that means uh, let's say 19 then he can just access on the home page all right 
here you can check the database queries and sessions and everything that you want so this is about all about the middleware if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video